All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we're doing oil change. Simple, quick, and easy. Uh, and the reason I'm doing the oil change is because I'm not gonna pay $100 for a uh, synthetic oil change on my element. Uh, for $100, I could pretty much buy these things. The oil pan, the little tool for your oil filter, a socket, and a wrench. And that's a one-time investment. But every time you need to do an oil change, you could pretty much do it yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and uh, we'll see how this goes. So here they are, they look pretty good. It's these uh, Pittsburgh uh, ramps and uh, obviously once they're on there, you align them with the uh, tires and then we're just gonna drive right up. So as you can see, it's already up on the ramps. It's pretty good. I believe uh, right now on this uh, SC, Let's see how many miles. I believe I have 150, I think. Yeah, yeah 159. And then uh, my oil change uh, light came on at like 15%, which is pretty bad. I don't really like going that low, but I've been really busy. And uh, once again, they were charging me $100 to do the oil change, which is crazy. So I went ahead and bought those ramps. Uh, I used to do my oil changes on my old other cars. I just got lazy, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it again. All right, so these are the basic tools that you'll need for an oil change. Okay, you'll need your new oil filter. There you go. You'll need your oil filter removal tool. Okay, it's specific for this one, size and everything. Uh, it should be hand tightened, and you should be able to pull it out with your hand. But just in case, it doesn't hurt to have it. You'll need a 17 there you are 17 you need a ratchet just a regular ratchet for your bolt on your oil pan this is the big boy in case there's problems and this one's to help in case there's more problems and then a swivel with an adapter um, but in reality you should only need this one with a 17 the oil filter tool just in case the oil filter oil filter pan and then about five quarts of oil. So, and then definitely some ramps uh, if you have an SE. If you have a regular element, I think you could crawl under that sucker. I used to be able to crawl under my O3 with no problem. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. That's all the old oil. Yes, it was pretty bad. Like I said, I hadn't changed it. It's pretty black. It's blacker than my coffee. So, don't do this, people. Change your oil. All right. All right, so, yeah, whoever did the oil change on this thing was a complete a-hole because uh, that filter is super tight. I can't even take it off of my hand. So, definitely, we're going to have to use the tool. So, I have the tool ready. I'm going to pop that sucker out right now. All right. And then... Don't forget to put your plug in. That's the craziest thing that I've heard people do. They forget to put this. They drive off. The car loses all the oil. The motor locks up. And then you're screwed. I don't care if you have to check 10 times. Double check. Triple check. Don't forget your plug. Make sure you tighten up your oil filter. But don't be scared to doubt yourself on this plug. It's very important that it's in there. Right. So now I'm going to spray a little bit of this carb cleaner just to clean the uh, little bit of oil that gets dripped. I don't like the smell of it burning sometimes. It gets me paranoid. So I'm just going to go ahead and wash it down really quick. Filter's already in. Everything's already panned out. And that's it. Got paper towel. Okay. And she's ready to rock and roll. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the oil in and uh, it's party time, baby. All right, so I did forget, you might need a funnel. Um, I like this one because it's it's got a wide open, it's small and uh, it definitely just kind of sits in there. You'll definitely need a funnel. Because if you don't have one, it's going to be a mess, man. 
So this is my funnel. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there, and then uh, it's, it's it's you're just gonna have to hold it. There's different funnels for these cars, obviously, uh, but this is kind of my favorite one just because it's a it's a bigger nozzle, or the opening is huge. So that's how we're gonna do it. So I'm using the Mobile One high mileage. It's a uh, 75,000 miles plus, uh, and it protects for 10,000 miles. But I don't think I let my oil go that long. Uh, I usually change it about three maybe four max four and a half but uh it's pretty decent you can buy it at walmart and um like i said after you buy all this stuff the first time that you do it it'll run you about 100 bucks maybe 120 with the car ramps and all this stuff but that's a one-time investment and every time you change your oil you just gotta buy the oil and the filter and you're ready to rock and roll so basically we need about 4.2 quartz on our element that's pretty much the capacity of it so there you go so the little indicator right there on the side will tell you right here you have one two three four that's the fifth one so we're gonna go ahead and uh, pump in about maybe that much estimate it give or take I think it should be fine all right so now that we're done we'll go ahead and uh, grab this thing Make sure it doesn't make a mess. We're going to put it in the oil pan so it'll drip out. Then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, clean all our uh, mess here. Make sure we're good to go. And once we do that, close it up. Make sure it's tight. All right. And that's it. Okay, now that the oil change is done, it's time to close up the hood and go ahead and uh, take the element off the ramps. Now the last thing that we have to do is we have to reset the oil light. Make sure that when you go into your little menu that you select the oil light area. You press the button, hold it down for a little bit, and then you're going to see the oil light flashing. You'll see it right now. There you go. Let it go. Tap it again. And then that will reset everything. And once it's at all reset, it will be at 100 and you're ready to go. As you can see, it's 100%. Now you can crank it. And that annoying oil life light that it's time to change your oil, we're gone. And that's it. It's beautiful. All right, guys. Make sure to stay in your element. Keep watching. And uh, I'm pretty sure you've seen a thousand oil change videos, but I needed to make one just to say I did it. And like I said, uh, just to show you that you could do it on a budget. And even if you're trying to save money, this is the way to do it. It's a little, if you've never done it, take your time. And do not forget to make sure to tighten up your oil pen bolt and your oil filter. If you got to think twice, three times, do it. Just don't forget to do it. Stay in your element. Have a good day. Y'all be good, guys.